Good morning. This is George Adventure here. Morning, folks. Uh, so I don't, you know, I don't normally do very many car videos about knives. You know, I do the I do the Monday morning one, but because I hadn't, you know, I hadn't got my shop set up, which it'll be set up Saturday morning. We're gonna set it up and and I'm gonna start making leather stuff. I'm gonna put some more stuff on Etsy I've got that I've already made. So. We've just been, you know, we've got been doing a lot of stuff, you know, since we got moved in, a lot of stuff to do, and so we're going to try to get back to normal here, you know, if you ever do, you know, unpacking boxes and stuff. But so I'm gonna go ahead and do a do a carving on a knife, and so this knife here came from Richter. Uh, it was sent to me a couple weeks ago, and I, I did do a video, and I think it was a. Uh, an exceptional gift, you know, uh, and I really appreciate it, really appreciate Rector, and I think Erica's EDC had something to do with it, Miss Erica. Not sure, but, so he put this bead on it, uh, uh, right here, and, uh, so, uh, it's, uh, 71, GEC 71, my first GEC, and I've been carrying it. I got a little belt holster I carry, and uh, I've got it in because I still got my case soddy in my pocket and my bench made. So, uh, but like I said, it's a, it's a beautiful knife. It's a it's a it's got the brown burlap, uh, and it's very sharp, very sharp. It's got the it's got the uh, uh, carbon steel, and I'm not sure what kind of carbon steel GEC uses. I don't know if it's 1095, I'm not sure. Maybe Rector can leave me a comment and tell me, but so uh, this is it. It's got a good patina on it, you can see. Uh, this looks like a, a natural patina, uh, not a forced one. And this thing's called a bull nose, uh, but you can you can see I think you can barely see it the bull nose part uh, but uh like I said I've been carrying it uh, got it on got it on today uh, and I, I tend to like the the natural colors even with the bones uh, I like you know which I do like the orange bone but I like the natural like the chestnut the green and uh, and all you know that kind of suits my taste but uh so uh, very very quality made knife i mean very quality made i mean this thing you know it's it's really really a good well made knife it's got the half stop see but it's also got a man it's it's got a lot of snap it's got a good spring on it <clears throat> um, you can see it's got the farming field little little engraving on the the pivot, the pivot part there, uh, but everything is everything is flush. The pins, everything is smooth. You know, uh, there's no flaws in this knife. You know, uh, I think it's got one little place right here, but I figured that was it being carried. Uh, got a homemade, nice homemade bead on it, so I may get my little wood burner. And, maybe burn a little something on it just just for fun of it but uh you know it, it it's a it's a you know it's a gorgeous knife i've never owned a gec uh you know so i think it was a great gift i don't deserve it you know uh but you know blade centered up let's see how good the blade centered up well made knife you know it's just a gorgeous knife uh it's uh, it's got USA on the pivot too. If you can see that, but you know it uh, it really uh, you know, kind of, I don't know, just really, really impacted me that somebody would think enough of me to send me an expensive knife like this, uh, and and I'm only using. I'm gonna use it now. I swap my daily carry up, 
you know, I, I carry, I carry 75 a lot of days, you know, and, and I might change it out on the weekend and I'll carry a trapper, you know, big trapper, uh, on my side. I've always got my bench made unless I don't, unless I've got a fixed blade. And then I've always got a soddy in my pocket. I always got a case soddy in my pocket. That's, that's just a given. Uh, but you know, I've been, I've been using this. I've been carrying this in a, in a sheath, uh, and I'm gonna make I'm gonna make some of those sheaths when I get my leather shop open. I gotta get it open. Uh, I'm gonna get it open and start making some stuff this weekend. Uh, so that's gonna be a that's gonna be a deal. I, I about kind of got it going, but I got I got a few things I gotta move around and put up some shelves and stuff. And uh, I was lucky with this shop that it's got some cabinets in there uh, that I can. I've got some of my tubs stacked on them, you know, because what I do is when I make, say I make notebooks, I put them in a tub, kind of keep it separate. Then I got, I got one tub that's got knife related stuff in there. Then I got another one that's got just your odd and end, like your, your Zippo uh, slips, your Zippo sheaths and uh, the little, the little wallets, uh, the little one pouch wallet minimalist wallets as I call them anything like that anything like that it goes in a separate tub knife the knife slip I mean not the knife slips but the ink pen sleeves so all that stuff goes in a different one then I got another one that I, when I cut out I'll, I'll go through and cut out stuff to make and I'll put all that stuff in there and I can just grab it and I can go ahead and get it ready and put it together and sew it and stain it and all that or dye it and all that good stuff stamp it so uh so I got, you know, when I when I moved into that, when I moved into that shop, or we moved in, there was there was a workbench in there uh, that I'm I'm going to use it. And I'm going to strengthen it up a little bit, and I got another one, a metal one that has a wooden top. I'm going to use that. Then I got I got the the uh, island that I had in the kitchen that I made. So I'm gonna make my wife another one and I'm gonna use that and it's heavy duty, man. So I'm gonna use it and put my piece of granite on there to stamp with and stuff. And I've got some shelves. I got three shelves to put up. And to do a little do a little odd and then decorating stuff so I can do well, that's where my wife's gonna come in. Uh make it a man cave. And uh so I'll do videos in there and I'll do we got an office we're setting up and I'm gonna do a do some videos in there too. So I'm gonna have a couple places besides outside. I'll do some, but uh, you know, like I said, I, uh, these car ones are gonna be rare. Uh, you know, so I'm not gonna do a lot of car ones, uh, but I just wanted to go ahead and do one, and and I wanted to do it on this, you know, and I'll probably do one, maybe another one on this knife probably at the end of the year first of next year i'll do it and i'll give do a real you know in-depth review but so far this has been a great knife man it's like i said it's it's got some good snap to it you see the blade uh it's a nice knife man i mean what can you say it's it's a it's a gec it's my first one uh I feel, you know, I feel a little guilty about it because, you know, it's like, you know, man, I, I just, I don't know. I just I hadn't done that, nothing that special to deserve this, to be honest with you. But, you know, the Lord blesses, blesses you daily, you know, and I feel like it's a blessing from the knife community. And I'll tell you, man, we got a great knife community, man. We, we got, you know, we, Richter and uh, Erica. Doom Crew, RJ, J.O., Thrifty, uh, Randy, RSG, uh, Mike Curtis. I mean, there's so many. There's so many. You know, I hate to name people. I'm afraid I'm going to leave somebody out, you know. Uh, but we got a lot of people uh, 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 on there. Uh, Slip Joint Sawyer. Uh, gosh, there's just so many people that I follow. Uh, <clears throat> American Knives. I don't think he's on YouTube. I follow him on Instagram. Uh, golly, there's so many. Uh, you know, just a bunch of them. Uh, 
Jersey, you know, Jersey. Jersey's a great knife guy. He's a great guy. All these guys and Erica, they're they're just they're just good people. And it's just a great community but to be involved in, you know, and I really enjoy it. I really enjoy Boston Blade and Big J's Saturday night. Uh and they're leaders in the community. Uh, they do a lot of great videos on YouTube. They, we have the Saturday night knife talk, knife chat, whatever they want to call it. Uh, you know, and it, it's just uh, I'd like to I'd like to create a a, a little name for our, our group. I, I don't know what it would be. Maybe maybe y'all could think about that and send them to me, and then we can we can maybe put it on there and vote on them, see which one we like, and then. You know, I'll do some decals or some stickers, but uh, you know, it's just a great group of people. Uh, Patty, uh, you know, and it, it, it's just so many. And I know I'm forgetting somebody, but uh, you know, I really, really enjoy. I'm up here on a construction site fixing to get out and do some safety observations, so I wanted to do a quick one. But anyway, uh, this is this is a this is a nice nice blade. Uh, it really is, and and I appreciate it. Appreciate it being sent to me, uh, and I'm gonna put it to use. Sure am. This it's very sharp. It's scary sharp. So uh, I hit it a little bit on the strop when I got it, as I always do. So uh, stiff, man. Good good snap. Good well made knife. So you know. I thank y'all for it, and God bless you, and y'all have a great Thursday, and I'm going to try to do a video this weekend, and when I get my shop set up, God bless you, y'all have a great Thursday, and y'all please be safe out there, George Adventure, see you later.